Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to build some macros for Roll20 that'll handle temporary HP in D&D 5th edition. Specifically, we'll see how to handle the Twilight Sanctuary for clerics from the Twilight Domain, we'll see how to handle HP from the Inspiring Leader feat, and we'll also see how to handle temporary HP from Potions of Heroism. And for those of you with pro accounts, we'll also see how you can take the temporary HP that's been granted and automatically populate it onto your character sheet. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So what we're going to do is quickly review how much temporary HP each of those items I mentioned grants, and then we'll see how we make the die rolls for those items, how we format the rolls so that they come up in the nice little template, and also, again, for those of you with pro accounts, how we make it so that the roll is automatically applied and updates our character sheet. Let's dive in. So let's start out with Twilight Sanctuary. We can see here that that allows us to grant a creature temporary hit points equal to 1d6 plus our cleric level. So the roll for that is going to look like this, where we have 1d6 plus our cleric's name, pipe, and their level. So if our cleric Jayla is level 3, then this is going to roll a d6 and add 3 to it, and that will be the amount of temporary HP we get. So let's just test that real quick, paste this in run it and we see we just get this six and if i hover over that we see that we have 1d6 which gave us a three plus three which is jayla's level for a grand total of six so six temporary hit points would have been granted from twilight sanctuary okay great now let's take a look at inspiring leader inspiring leader allows us to grant temporary hit points equal to our level plus our charisma modifier. So the role for that is going to be similar to what we just saw, except it's going to be like this, where we have Jayla's charisma modifier plus her level. And so again, if we just run that right now and paste it in there, we're gonna get four. And if we hover over that, we see that Jayla's charisma modifier is a one and her level is a three, so that gives us four. So she just gave four temporary hit points to her companions. And then finally, the Potion of Heroism, that's going to give just a straight 10 temporary hit points. So that one's really easy. It's just going to be 10, like that. And so if we run that, paste that in there, and there we go. So now that we have the die roll set, let's see how to format these so that they show up in the nice little template like we have in the chat window right now. So what I'm going to do now is paste in some code to make it into that format, and then I'll talk through what each element of that code does. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. So this first part here, and template damage, that's the name of this template right here. It's what gives us this sort of curved box with the role and the title in it. Our name is going to be what displays right here in the bottom of the box. In this case, it's going to be Twilight Sanctuary. Damage equals 1 means that we are going to have a roll show up. And damage 1 flag equals 1 means that the damage will actually be displayed in the template. Damage 1 type is the italicized text that appears below the roll. And in this case, it's not technically damage. It's actually HP that we're granting. But this is the right template to use for this purpose. And then finally, we want to have the roll in there. And the roll is going to look like this. We're just going to encapsulate this in another set of double curly braces, like so. That the actual, quote, damage that's being rolled is our 1d6 plus our cleric's level. So now if we take this and we copy it and run it, we see now that we have Twilight Sanctuary and we granted nine temporary hit points. And hovering over there, we see that we have our d6 being rolled plus our cleric's level, which again is a three. And then we're just going to repeat those same steps for Inspiring Leader and the Potion of Heroism. So you can see now I've made the changes and I've put the roles that we created earlier into the templates format. The only difference here is I've changed the R name for each one of these. So Inspiring Leader and Potion of Heroism. And then of course I've got the Damage 1 flag set to be whatever the role actually was. So let's just take this for a spin real quick. We'll try out Inspiring Leader. Paste that in. Okay, so we're rolling again 1 plus 3. That's our Charisma modifier plus our level. So that's rolling successfully. And then let's do it one more time for the Potion of Heroism. And there we go. Yep, 
10 temporary HP, just like what we got earlier. Now these macros will work just as they are. I'll put them down in the video description. You can copy and paste them, use them in your own games, no problem. Oh, and incidentally, this beer garden map that I've got here is available to all of my patrons if you join my Patreon, so just want to mention that real quick. But for those of you who have a pro account, we can now take these macros a step further and have you automatically add the temporary HP to your character sheet. So let's see how we do that. So what you're going to want to do is go into your game settings page and you're going to search for a mod called Chat Set Atra. Click on that and add it to your game. Chatset Atra was created by a user named Jacob. Jacob, thank you very much for Chatset Atra. It is a fantastic script. And what we're going to do is scroll down here and we're going to do two things. First, we're going to click Add Script. And that's going to add the script into our game. And if we go back to the Chatset Atra page, we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we're going to check this players can modify all characters box. What this does is makes it so that players can update other players character sheets via chat set Atra. So I could update your character sheet using chat set Atra and these macros that we've just created. So of course this is where we need to throw the disclaimer. If you don't trust your players with something like that, don't do this, don't check this box. You can have the macros set up and you can use them yourself and you can update the character sheet automatically and that'll work totally fine. So if you don't trust your players, don't tick this box. If you do, great, go for it. And now let's see how we actually use this script in our macros. Just gonna click save script one more time to make sure that we save that setting. And now back into our game here, and back to our macro, what I'm going to do is actually insert some code into these macros and then I'll explain what the code does. So I'm going to click right in between the temporary HP and the damage one flag. Just put my cursor right there and I'll paste this code in. And so what we're saying here is exclamation point set Atra. So this is setting an attribute. We're going to have it be silent. So we're not going to display anything in chat saying that we updated anything. And then char ID is which character are we updating with this macro. And the way we're going to do that is by having our player or us as the DM click on the token for the character we want to update. That's what target pipe character ID means. Dash dash HP underscore temp means we're updating the temporary HP property on the character sheet. And you may be asking, well, Nick, how did you know it was called dash dash HP underscore temp. Well, if, if we alt double click on our character's token and open up their character sheet and I hover over the temporary hit point section, you'll see that it pops up with at HP underscore temp. So that's how I knew what this was called. Then we have a pipe and the pipe says we're going to update that HP temp property with this die roll. And then finally, we need three exclamation points at the very end of our template because that tells chat set Atra that we're done and there's no more roles to process. So now if I copy this and we run it, we get our pop-up here saying click on a token on the screen to choose a target. So we're gonna click on our barbarian here. And we can see now that we got seven HP from Twilight Sanctuary. And if I open up his character sheet, we can see that he has seven temporary hit points. So that's working properly. So now we're just gonna do the exact same thing for the other two templates. So again, I'm just gonna click in between temporary HP and damage one. I'm gonna paste in the set Atra command and put in those three exclamation points at the end for inspiring leader. And I'll do it one more time right here for the potion of heroism. And that's it. So now let's try these out. So let's do inspiring leader. We're gonna copy that, paste it in. Again, we get the pop-up saying click on a token to choose the target. So we'll click on our barbarian again. You can see that we did four temporary HP for inspiring leader. Let's open up his character sheet. Yep, he's got four temporary hit points. And then let's go ahead and do our potion of heroism. Paste that in. Click on our barbarian one more time. Now he's got 10 temporary HP. And he's got 10 temporary HP. Remember, temporary hit points don't stack. So anytime a character gets a new source of temporary hit points, it wipes out whatever they had before and replaces it with the new value. So the final thing to do would be to actually put these in as macros. So let's go ahead, we'll just copy our code here. 
we go over to the macros tab we'll click add and I'm gonna call this Twilight Sanctuary paste in my code and if I want my players to be able to use this then I'm gonna make sure that this is visible to all players or, or to specific players and then save changes and now Twilight Sanctuary is available for us I would just repeat that for the potion of heroism and for inspiring leader so there you have it that's how you can create macros that handle temporary HP in roll 20. I just want to give a quick shout out of thanks to all my patrons your support really does mean a lot to me so thank you so very much and also again want a quick shout out of thanks to Jacob for creating the chat set Atris script it really is a very useful script I use it in the vast majority of my games and I'd also like to thank you for watching I hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing and until next time folks have a great day